Hello there, my name is Kern Gill, and I'm here to talk to you today about Internet 2, Christianity, Big Brother, and why a lot of you conspiracy theorists are all full of shit. First of all, about this Internet 2 thing. You guys have not the first fucking clue as to what it is. I saw a Fox News thing on YouTube earlier mentioning that this Internet 2 is being made by a bunch of quote-unquote particles physicists in CERN. I mean, particle physicists in Geneva. Switzerland. CERN, yeah. They also mentioned that they were going to do something to some, some Adam Smasher thing all right, in the article, which is the Large Hadron, Large Hadron Collider, which didn't blow up the world, it just stopped working. And you're like, oh, they're just going to create this Internet 2 thing to censor us, blah, blah, blah. Most governments do not have the capability to censor you, really. I mean, they can stop you from seeing stuff, but they can't sit there and read all your mail and all that shit on any massive scale. Because simply, they don't have the manpower or resources to do it. They leave a very good impression that they do. Because it's a fucking lie and trick. And the worst part is, you're more indoctrinated by the government's lie that they can actually do this shit than the rest of the world because we realize they really can't. On a second note, then I keep on hearing, and where is the Christianity coming to this? Keep on hearing that it's this quote-unquote quote New World Order as depicted by the Book of Revelations. God does not exist. Alright, get it through your head. The whole idea of God was created by a bunch of dope-smoking Arabs and Jews and Sumerians and all that four, six thousand years ago as a political tool to convince people to do the right thing and do what they wanted. They would make it, they, if they wanted someone to say some, do something, the, polit, the politicians way back when would say, Our God says you should do this. Or, Our God told me in a message to do this. whoop to doo there is no God. They just wanted to say that just so they can get the people to do it. Alright? Now let's compare to 1984. 1984, the supreme leader is Big Brother. And what is, and look at this. You read the book, and as you read the book, you get the idea there really is no quote-unquote Big Brother. But pretty much everybody believes that he, there is Big Brother, that he is all-powerful, and that he is immutable. Alright? But the problem is, and I'll be honest with you, God is pretty much Big Brother, created 6,000 years ago, as a control mechanism to control the populace. Christianity is nothing more than a control tool created to be used by governments. You want to know what your Big Brother censorship is? It's called the Holy Bible. It started with Judaism went on to Christianity, and you're probably wondering, well, if it's such a control mechanism, how did it last so long? Let me tell you something. It's viral. Alright? It is viral. It spreads. You convince a small group of people that there is a God. Okay? You gotta realize, back then, everybody was a bunch of dope smokers. Opium put smokers. They'd go eat a bunch of poppies and get high for hours on end. They were probably high all day long, every moment they were alive. You gotta realize, this is 6,000 years ago in the desert. Probably before even there was any even any uh, pyramids in Egypt. So you got these Arabs sitting out there in the middle of the desert, high as a fucking kite, all day fucking long. All right, and then you got this one guy. He realizes, hey, I want these guys to do something. I don't want these guys to uh, do this. So they so he comes up with this idea of God. He's like, there's this God, and he tells me blah 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 blah. All right, and these first guys eventually don't believe it, but eventually they get convinced that there is a God. And they also make it, the guys who came up with the idea of God, also say that God says, all should believe in me, blah, blah, blah. So these followers get convinced that everybody should believe in God. They start convincing other people. And those people convince other people. It's a fucking domino effect. And it's such a powerful domino effect that it's lasted till today. The reason we still have Christianity is because there's a domino effect. And like I said, Christianity... God is your real 1984, your real Big Brother, your real Oceana. Alright? George Orwell, he did. He basically write, wrote a new Bible when he wrote 1984. Alright? Internet 2 is not a censorship tool. Alright? Internet 2 is Internet Protocol version 6. Here's the thing. Internet Protocol version 4, which is what we're currently using on the internet, there's a few problems with it. You have a limit of 4.2 billion addresses you can assign with it. 
By the way, addresses are not things like www.google.com. Those are DNS names. Those are just basically names to hide the addresses behind, to make it easier to remember. Because who wants to remember numbers like uh, 22.31.172.64? That's a valid IP address. But who really wants to sit there and remember numbers like that all day? That's why DNS exists. Domain names. But like I said, IPv4 is limited to 4.2 billion addresses, or to be exact, 2 to the power of 32. And the thing is, there is more than 4.2 billion people alive on Earth. So you cannot feasibly give every single living human being alive an IP address for themselves under IPv4. You would have to force somebody somewhere to share. <coughs> Alright. And how do you share an IP address? Network address translation. How does network address translation work? You create a virtual network with a bunch of private IP addresses, which are only visible within that network, and you hide it behind a gateway which looks as one big address. Now, anybody who's ever had, like, played online games or tried to run a web server from home or things like that know about port forwarding. You have to forward ports a lot of times to get shit to work right from your router. Now, imagine if the router was no longer in your home, but in your in a service provider's uh, service room somewhere and that you didn't have access to it to port forward. Now you see how that starts to get annoying, but that's what's going to happen to the Internet Protocol version 4 of the current Internet as we know it. Internet 2 is nothing more than an enhancement called Internet Protocol version 6, which does not have this problem of having less IP addresses available than there are people alive. It has 2 to the power of 128 addresses that you can possibly use. That is a number so big I don't know how to say it. All right? huge, alright? And what I see is all these conspiracy theorists out there, also 2012 is the end of the world, 2012 is the end of the internet. No, 2012, alright, from the Mayans, is because their calendar just rolls over. It's like saying the world was going to end in 1999 because that one rolled over to a two, alright? Or everything's going to end when the clock says ten because nine rolls over to ten. Go to Wikipedia, go to any serious research site, research the Mayan calendar, and you'll find that it's nothing more than a rollover in their calendar that occurs on December 12, 2012. Alright? Or whatever date it was, anyways. It's a bunch of bullshit created by a bunch of conspiracy theorists because they want, they hope the world will end because they're a bunch of lazy, selfish son of a bitches that don't want to take responsibility for anything and they're looking for a quick way out. They're also looking for something to fear, because otherwise they have nothing left in life to fear anymore, and life is pretty much pointless. That's my view, and to all you conspiracy theorists, Christians, and Internet 2 haters, fuck you, and, and Internet and subscription television won't work. Too many e-commerce sites depend on a free and open Internet. If anybody ever tried to do it on a massive scale, the world economy would collapse worse than the Great Depression all across the world. The United States would be just as bumfuck poor as Africa. Retards.